Francophone students who have chosen to pursue CEGEP studies in English do not cease to be French. Who or what is causing the decline of the French language in Quebec? Many have pointed the finger at English CGIPs. Bill 96 is requiring English schools to apply major changes to protect the French language. And for Montreal's English CGIP, Vanier College, meeting the bill's demands will be a tough ride. We have always uh, expressed our concern with the timeline, believing that it is completely unrealistic. We still feel that way. Um, there is no need to rush this through. We are not the enemies of French. Uh, we are not the enemies of Quebec. According to McMahon, CGIPs have recently received a guide to implement the new language policies, requiring all colleges to pass them by June 2023. There are still a lot of outstanding questions. Uh, for example, we don't know how they are going to implement the DEVI cap, the numbers cap. Uh, for English colleges. We don't know what the accommodations will be for special needs students in terms of the French course requirements. His major concern, however, is the implementation of three additional courses in French all students, including Anglophone students, must take to graduate. We don't know what those courses are going to replace. We don't know what the plan for those courses are. And a lot of these questions that we have in terms of the implementation could have been avoided if we would have worked with the government. Quebec's Minister of Higher Education, Pascal Derry, promised to provide sufficient financial assistance to help English CGIPs carry out the language laws. According to McMahon, no details were given about the resource. City News reached out to the minister for more details, but they did not get back to us in time for air. The main thing we need is uh, flexibility. Uh, we're, we're interested in working with the Minister of Higher Education and with the politicians and with the government in order to continue to discuss how we can implement uh, the requirements of Bill 96, uh, meet the objectives of Bill 96, but to do so in a manner that is uh, conducive to student success and that is realistic. We're confident in the statements that they're making recently where there is an openness, where there may be a flexibility in terms of the uh, implementation of Bill 96. In Montreal, Diona Makalinga, City News.